into my kitchen. Today I will be making corn chowder. The first thing I'm gonna do is take about two tablespoons of margarine and melt that in a big pan. Once you have the margarine all melted, you're gonna turn your heat down to about medium. And I'm gonna take five slices of salt pork and lay that in the bottom of the pan. And let that brown. Usually takes 10 to 15 minutes um, just keep flipping it as you go. Okay, while your salt pork is browning, I'm going to cut up a medium onion. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Once you have your salt pork all browned, you want to remove that. And put your onions in. few minutes till they're translucent. Okay, it's been about two minutes. Our onions are nice and soft. I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of flour. And stir that all in. Add just a little bit more. two ounces of chicken broth. Give that a good stir. And 
And then I'm going to add one cup of water. And then you want to bring that up to a boil. While we're waiting for that to come to a boil, I'm going to peel three large russet potatoes. And then you're just going to chop these into small pieces. Okay, our liquid has come to a boil. I'm going to turn that down to medium, medium, medium high. Got all my potatoes chopped. You want all the same size pieces. Just put those in your liquid. And give it a good stir. And then we're just going to let this simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until the potatoes are tender. I am just gonna add my salt pork back in while it's simmering. Just gives it a little bit of more flavor. So it's been about 15 minutes and our potatoes are just barely tender. You don't want to overcook them because then they'll fall apart. I'm going to add two cans of cream style corn. You can use whole corn if you like whole corn. We just like the cream style corn in it. a teaspoon of black pepper and give that a stir and I'm just gonna let that cook for two to three minutes so it's been about three minutes and I'm just going to take out the salt pork I'm going to add a half a cup of heavy cream. And stir that in really well. Serve it in a bowl. And put a little bit of fresh parsley on there. And there you have it. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one.